Hey guys, Eve here, and today I decided to do another celestial look. This one is based off of the next full moon. If you haven't seen my last celestial look video, I went ahead and I did a look inspired by the flower moon. And this month, the month of June, the full moon is nicknamed the strawberry moon. And it's because this is the time when fruits are supposed to be ripe enough for the farmers to pick. So I went with a lot of strawberry inspired colors for this look. And if you guys wanna see how I did this, go ahead and keep on watching. Hey guys, so I already did my eyebrows and primed my eyes and then I'm going to take some RCMA No Color Powder and I'm going to stamp it with a dry sponge at the corner of my eyes to create a sharp line. This is going to be a great guide for our shadows. And then hopping right into the Modern Renaissance palette today, I'm picking up the shade Golden Ochre and I'm using this as my transition tone. So I'm sweeping that through the crease blending it with windshield wiper motions and circular motions up towards the brow bone and against that powder. You want to create a light wash color first and then build up that color towards the crease, blending it out to make sure that there's no harsh lines. And then mixing the shades Burnt Orange and Real Glitter on a fluffier brush, I'm putting that in the crease as well, right on top of Golden Ochre but lower on the eye towards the lash line. That way there's a nice gradient of colors going from the brow bone towards the eye. Once again, using windshield wiper motions and circular motions, buffing that color in, bringing it up against that powder line. And then hopping into the shade Love Letter. And I started with a fluffy brush first. This is an Anastasia fluffy brush from an older palette. However, this brush is dying. So I did have to switch over to a more precise brush. This is a pencil brush from Morphe but it does have quite a bit of give to it, so even though it's precise, it does do a good job of blending and blowing out that color. And I'm putting that on top of the other shades as well, but bringing that lower on the eye and filling out that outer V. And once we are pleased with the pigmentation of Love Letter, I go back in with the Realgar and Burnt Orange mixture just to blend that all out. I call this process reverse blending. It really helps create that gradient without losing any pigmentation. It's my little, my little secret, my little tip. And then going in once again with golden ochre, right on the edges. And once that is all done and complete, you can wipe away that powder on the corner of your eyes. And grabbing my tart shape tape in the shade Fair, I'm going to start to cut the crease. We're doing a half cut crease today. And so I put the concealer on my lid and then drag it along the line. We want that line to be in a rounded shape and we want it to follow the shape of your lid. If you want to fake the shape of your lid, be my guest. My only tip here is to go slow and to build up that shape rather than to just pop right into it because that's when you're more likely to make mistakes. And then we'll set that concealer with the shade Tempera, packing that all over. This is also going to be our lid shade. It's not just a setting shade. And then grabbing a little bit more Love Letter on a fluffy brush and putting that right on the edges, blending that, really diffusing that color. So now there is another gradient going from the inner corner to the outer corner. And I'm going back and forth once again with windshield wiper motions and circular motions. In my opinion, that ensures the best blend. And with this, you really need to slowly build up the pigmentation because you're going from such a light color to such a dark color. And then to deepen up the outer corner, once again, I'm grabbing the shade Venetian Red, putting that on the outer edges, blending it on an angle, and then taking that temporary shade again and sweeping it all over just to blend it together. And then finally taking a big fluffy brush with no added product, sweeping that right over the desired area to ensure a nice gradient. And then taking the shade Red Ochre, I'm putting that on to my lash line with an angled brush just to deepen everything up. And then once I put on my foundation, I realized I forgot to film my lower lash line. So I'm just recreating the colors on my upper lid onto my lower lash line. And then for blush, I'm picking up the shade Incandescent Electra from Hourglass, blending that onto the apples of my cheeks and up towards my temples. For highlight today, I'm grabbing my Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild Glow Kit and I'm picking up the shade Pink Heart. 
and I'm putting that onto any places that I would normally highlight. So the tops of my cheekbones, my nose, on the temples, making that C shape, the inner corners of my eyes, my cupid's bow, my brow bones, and down the bridge of my nose. And then to lighten it up, I'm grabbing my Wet n Wild highlighter in the shade Blossom Glow, putting that onto the inner corners of my eyes. Brushing away that baked powder that I had sitting on my face and then setting my face with my NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. Now for lips, I'm grabbing my Dose of Colors Liquid Lip in the shade Strawberry Pop because I figured that was pretty fitting for the Strawberry Moon look. I just have to give a shout out to Dose of Colors. Their formulation for the liquid lipsticks is awesome. They're really comfortable to wear. They're not drying on the lips. And for some reason, they just always make my lips look fuller. I don't know what it is because it's not a plumping formula in any way, but my lips always just look really hydrated and full. If you haven't checked out their liquid lipsticks, I highly suggest you do. I am obsessed. Then curling my lashes to prep for mascara and for mascara today, I'm grabbing my Buxom Lash Mascara for my top lashes and my Pixi Lower Lash Line Mascara for my lower lashes. It's my favorite pairing for false lash days. And then to finish off the look, I'm grabbing my false lashes. These are the Ardell Demi Wispy Lashes. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. I think it's really cute. I think it's very summery and fresh. If you guys like this full moon inspired makeup look go ahead and give me a thumbs up and if you like me go ahead and click that subscribe button down below special thanks to sarah quack she really loved my flower moon makeup look like i said before if you haven't checked that out yet go ahead and give it a watch and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye guys i'm chasing starlight to find a star to Just